It was so hard to watch someone's dream and what they wanted be destroyed. And when I was in that seat, it was just kind of like shock. And then mm -hmm. I started feeling like I'm not good enough. How long have you had your business all set style? I started it about two and a half years ago for building the business and then officially opened to the public two years ago. Excellent. Yeah. And what was your inspiration to, to venture out as an entrepreneur in style? In style specifically, I have loved clothing my whole life. My, it's something my mom and I bonded over as kids. She has a love for the thrill of the deal and <laughs> finding clothes and all of that. But it's not something I ever thought I would do because it kind of felt like it was a little too vanity focused for me. But I noticed as I got into my HR career that what we wear, I noticed it in myself and in others, what we wear affects how we feel about ourselves and our confidence. And so when I decided, okay, I'm going to venture into a business, it kind of just made sense to, to do and to try. And What was the catalyst for you starting your business? Well, I had been working, like I said, in HR. I had worked 13 years corporate HR, and it was around the time of the downturn of the economy, and I ended up being laid off. And it was one of those best, worst things that ever happened to me. I, For a few years prior to that, I had been thinking I wanted to try something different, but I had the golden handcuffs, so it was hard to mm. want to stop and start something new. That, that experience of being laid off. Not everybody has gone through that. Mm -hmm. How did that impact you emotionally? It was really, it was hard on one hand and I just wanted to like scream for joy on the other hand. It was a hard thing because I had, being in HR, I had actually performed a lot of the the layoffs prior to that. This was the fourth round in the company I'd worked for. And it was so hard to watch someone's dream and what they wanted be destroyed. And when I was in that seat, it was just kind of like shock. And then mm -hmm. I started feeling like, I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. And it took a long time to get over that side of it, feeling not wanted. And it was interesting, the first thing I thought of was that I was free. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know, and despite the rejection, there's that freedom part of it too. And what's so interesting now is a part of your business, a large part of your business is building people's confidence mm -hmm. and making them feel a lot more assertive. Absolutely. So All Set Style mm -hmm. is your company. Mm -hmm. And describe what you do. There's four fundamental parts of building a wardrobe that you love. There's the color, so wearing a color that works for your undertone and skin tone. Mm -hmm. And this green just and works with your eyes, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> this is one of my colors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then your silhouette. So I know often it's hard to, especially as women, but men too, it's hard to talk about your silhouette. And you, a lot of people want to hide it, but if you understand strategies and tricks to make you look and feel better, then it's, yeah, it's just amazing. And then style personality. We're all different in how we express ourselves and our personality. And you can look at one person who has, who looks amazing in an outfit, and then you can put it on yourself and be like, mm -hmm. why do I not feel like how they feel? look or appear to feel and it's often it's style personality if you've ever had a time when you feel like you're like people will tell you you look really sick today are you okay uh, and you feel great oftentimes it's the color that you're wearing hmm. it just doesn't when you have the right color it just makes your skin glow and your eyes sparkle so when i do one-on-one -on -one, the fourth thing is lifestyle so mm -hmm. what you actually spend your time doing and we look at all those and delve into those pieces and then we start going through their wardrobe i'm not someone who wants to throw out everything in your wardrobe the environmental side of me mm -hmm. really wants people to wear what they have and mm. if there's a way to figure out how to style something differently or put something together. Repurpose. Repurpose, mm. yeah. I also go shopping. I'll go, based on those those four foundational elements, I'll go and I'll choose the different stores based on what they need, and I do a pre-shop, so all they have to do is show up and try things on. 
Mm. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Yeah, so that's part of what I do. I do workshops, I'll do group workshops. Um, I do private home workshops if people want, like on color draping or general style. I, with my HR background, I work with businesses. I'll go in and I'll help them do, I'll do lunch and learns on helping employees to understand the importance of dress code and the importance of style and how our personal brand can affect our, our growth trajectory within the business as well. What's your favorite part about what you do? Is seeing that spark in someone when they realize why they love something or why they don't love something and just seeing them stand a little taller and smile at themselves as they look in the mirror. That's, that's the best. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos and want to join us on our ride of our web series, Life of a Producer, then like and subscribe here. Right here. That's right. You got it.